Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good and welcome to this video. Um, in this video I'm going to talk about Helm um, for installing packages uh, like uh, things. So basically you can install applications um, into your Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so that's the uh, talk for this uh, video. Um, I've got a theory part uh, for the first bit and then we'll go to the demo section. Um, for the demo I need a Kubernetes cluster so as usual I'm going to bring up a, a brand new clean cluster from scratch. So I'm going to cd to play directory and git clone my Kubernetes repository. cd to Kubernetes and to Vagrant provisioning and do Vagrant up. Okay, so that's going to deploy a uh, Kubernetes cluster with one master node and two worker nodes. Okay, um, it's going to take um, about eight to nine minutes, so we'll go with the theory part now. Um, I've got my notes here. Okay, so Helm. Um, so normally when you want to deploy your application into a Kubernetes cluster, you would write the YAML file and then use the kubectl command to deploy uh, your application into your cluster. Or if you prefer web UI, you can either use the uh, Kubernetes dashboard or um, I did a video on uh, Rancher, so you could use Rancher to manage your Kubernetes cluster. Rancher gives you a nice web UI uh, to interact with your Kubernetes cluster. Uh, so, But in either case, you have to write your own YAML file um, or choose options uh, from the web UI. Um, what Helm does is basically Helm has got two components. One is the uh, the Helm itself. Um, it's a binary <coughs> um, you can install on your workstation and um, there is a server-side component to it which is called Tiller. Um, Tiller is basically just a pod and when you deploy Tiller uh, into your cluster uh, it's basically a replica set, but just runs one instance of uh, Tiller. Um, it can't run on any of the uh, worker nodes. So that's the server-side component. And uh, you download the Helm binary, and that's how it interacts. So think of it as a package manager. So if you have used Ubuntu, uh, you do apt get update and apt get install a package, and that package gets installed onto your system. So similar to that, you can use Helm to uh, deploy packages to your cluster. So in the Helm world, the packages or applications are called charts. So here I've got uh, some commonly used uh, applications, MySQL, Redis, Jenkins, WordPress. Um, so these are called charts. So you can, when you initialize your Helm, um, it's going to create a stable repository. So like apt get update, uh, you can define your repository where the packages um, are cached and you can install a package. So similar to that in Helm, when you initialize it, it's going to create a default uh, stable repo and uh, you can install packages from that repo. If you want, you can update your repo and if you want, you can add your own repo and add charts to it. Um, I'll be doing that on future video, how to create your own um, Helm chart and your home and your own Helm repository. Um, okay, so what's the advantage of using Helm? Um, if it, it's basically for the uh, repetitive task. So if you're using, if your organization is huge and there are multiple teams, they want to deploy a common application. Um, you can use Helm to uh, deploy a chart uh, into your Kubernetes cluster in a standard way. So standardization, so all the teams can make use of your uh, Helm chart, a standard Helm chart to deploy the application. So there, there won't be any typo and you can add uh, documentation comments section to your charts so it's well documented and it's easy for every team to pick a single chart and deploy onto the Kubernetes cluster. So they have a standard there. And uh, it's not only that, but if they want to customize, if one of the team want to use your chart to deploy, for example, MySQL, but they want to customize it, 
um, you can provide customizations so by default when you create a chart or use a chart it comes with a set of values set of options for the uh, applications but if you want you can override those settings um, either in the command line or you can have it as a file and then pass that file to the helm install command uh, so this tutorial this video is just about installing helm and deploying tiller onto your cluster so this is just a getting started uh, kind of tutorial and on my next video I will uh, show you an example of how to deploy a sample um, application maybe a Jenkins um, application using helm into your cluster right security so when you install helm it's going to look at your cube configuration file to understand or to find out which cluster to connect to and to which cluster to deploy the tiller component so it looks at your cube config file under your home directory dot cube and config and finds out uh, the cluster name namespace and so on and it deploys the uh, the server side component tiller by default there is no security so you need to have the security on your cluster itself um, you need to make use of the RBAC role-based access control so in this demo what we will be doing is we will be creating a service account so we give this part this tiller component the rights to deploy any resources on our behalf so when we say helm install Jenkins it's going to create a, a secret resource config map resource persistent volume PVC pod replica set deployment so tiller takes care of all the deployments so we need to give tiller the permission to uh, deploy resources uh, to any namespace so for that we're gonna create a service account called tiller and uh, we're going to do a cluster role binding we're going to attach the cluster admin cluster role to the service account this is not uh, the best practice because basically we are giving a service account full admin privilege so when you tie this cluster role cluster admin to this service account tiller basically you are given full pseudo rights full admin privilege to this service account so that account can delete pods delete any resource create any resource but, but just to get started we will use this kind of scenario but uh, if you want to go into production, um, I think you need to create your own cluster role binding, cluster role um, with what you want the stiller part to be capable of doing. Okay, so installing Helm on your workstation and then I'll show you how to deploy tiller. It's just a single command. Uh, Helm init will initialize the, uh, the tiller component in your cluster. Um, we are passing the service account equals tiller option. When you do the Helm initialization, it creates a stable repository. So it creates a stable repository and you can install um, uh, the applications into your cluster. Okay, um, that's it. Um, we can go to the, uh, the demo section. Um, I also wanted to show you some useful commands um, you can use with Helm. So you can basically do helm help to find out the list of commands and if you want help for any specific command you can do helm help and the command name. Um, so installing packages is done via helm install uh, and the package name and if you do that it's going to deploy the pod with a random name so you can pass minus minus name and minus minus values is, um, is just a file that you can pass in with a custom options that you can, that you want to override helm fetch is going to fetch the chart locally to your machine it's not going to install it's just um, fetching so helm fetch Jenkins will fetch uh, the uh, Jenkins um, chart as a tar file you can extract it you can have a look at it how it's configured and so on um, helm list uh, that will list the uh, installed applications in your cluster using helm um, Helm status will show you the status of the uh, the application deployment. You can uh, search for charts using Helm search. Uh, Helm repo update. It's like apt-get update. So if you want to update your repo, you can do Helm repo update. 
helm upgrade helm rollback uh, so helm rollback is uh, is a thing so when you install a chart and if there is any application uh, updates uh, if the chart has been updated since then for a newer version you can do helm upgrade and if you want to go back to the previous deployment you can do helm rollback helm delete uh, is to delete the uh, deployment obviously and if you want to deploy it completely including all the history and everything you have to use the minus minus purge option helm reset so that will completely uh, delete the uh, uh, tiller component from your cluster but doing helm reset or helm reset minus minus force um, when I tested it previous uh, prior to this recording it didn't completely uh, delete the uh, uh, the tiller environment so you have to do some manual bit which I'll show you when when, uh, when we do the demo okay so that's done let's go to the terminal and see where we are okay so it's going to take another couple of minutes it's doing the last uh, worker node at the moment I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's ready all right the cluster has been provisioned what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy the cluster configuration from kmaster to my host machine so that I can run the kubectl command directly from my host machine. Make directory dot cube and I'm going to scp okay that's done let's see the um, status of our cluster kubectl cluster info kubectl get nodes okay so we've got three nodes all are in the ready status kubectl version minus minus shot um, we are on server version 113.2 okay cool kubectl get all so we haven't got anything apart from the default kubernetes service first let's try to install the um, the helm binary so if I head to the browser and search for install helm I'm going to click on the first link the official one and down here install helm so there are a few ways you can install helm so if you are using Ubuntu you can use your snap package manager to install helm um, sudo snap install helm minus minus classic um, you can either do that or you can download the binary directly from the official um, website and move it to the bin or there is a script that you can um, run okay so uh, there it is from script so if you just run this command it's going to get this uh, shell script and it's going to install helm so if you're using the script uh, way of installing helm it's also going to install the tiller binary which we actually don't need that's um, used for local uh, testing it's it will also install the tiller binary but what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the binary helm binary directly so download your desired version if I click that link and the latest one is version 2.12.2 .2. and if I scroll down and uh, Linux AMD 64 so that's the link and it has started downloading um, uh, the helm binary which is 21 meg okay I'm going back to my terminal CD to downloads and there it is helm tar file I'm gonna extract that tar file okay and CD to Linux AMD 64 uh, there it is so you've got the helm binary and the tiller binary all I need is just the helm binary okay so sudo move helm to user local bin okay so now if I do which helm so I've got helm helm version okay so that's the client version helm version minus minus short minus minus client so that's the client version version 2.12.2 .2. 
Okay, so we have got our Helm binary installed on our workstation. So the configuration for Helm will be stored under under your home directory under dot Helm directory. It's not there. It will appear when we initialize Helm. Okay, so that given we have initialized the Helm, we are going to deploy the tiller, the server side component. So for that, we need to create a service account and do the cluster role binding. Let's do that. kubectl minus n cube system create service account tiller. So that's created. I'm going to create the role binding kubectl create cluster role binding and the cluster role binding is called tiller and I want to attach the cluster admin cluster role to the service account tiller so it has to be namespace colon service account name okay so we've created the cluster role binding if you do kubectl get cluster role binding tiller so you've got that one so basically we've created the service account and the cluster role binding so now all that's left is to in initialize helm helm init minus minus service account tiller if I do that it's going to deploy the tiller part kubectl minus n cube system get parts so now you see there is no tiller part and once I do the helm in it, in it okay so that's done and if I do this command again uh, yeah get parts and you can see tiller it's not in the ready state yet it's um, kubectl get parts okay so now it's in the ready state so that's tiller so we've got the tiller deployed what I'm going to show you now is the default repository helm help pipe that to less here you will see what, what are all the commands um, you can do completion create delete dependency fetch there are lots of commands list install and so on there is helm home if you do that it will tell you where the uh, the home directory for helm is ls dot helm so I've got the plugins repository starters helm repo list so we've got this uh, stable repo which I mentioned so that's the default repository that gets added when you initialize your helm okay helm list it's going to list if you've installed any application using helm nothing so you haven't done anything yet if you want to search for any application you can do helm search Jenkins for example so stable Jenkins open source continuous if you want to know what's inside Jenkins helm inspect Jenkins helm inspect helm help inspect that to less helm inspect chart name okay so I need to give the repo as well helm inspect stable so that's a repository and that's the chart okay and if I pipe that to less you can see basically some notes about uh, uh, the Jenkins and the default values master name is Jenkins master um, what persistence you've got, the st storage container, basically all, all those details. And you can also do Helm fetch stable Jenkins. So that's going to download the tar file which contains the chart. So if I extract it, tar is at XF Jenkins, CD to Jenkins chart.yaml owners templates and so on so basically if you look in the templates directory you'll have all the yaml files so these are the yaml files that tiller will deploy when you install uh, Jenkins using helm 
Okay, I'm going to remove that one. Okay, what else can we do? So as after installing Tiller, what you will see is cube system get all get deployment um, replica set pod um, service account cluster role binding grep tiller okay so you've got the deployment tiller deploy and the deployment created a replica set with one instance of uh, the pod and the replica set created this pod so basically when we did helm init it created these resources the deployment replica set the pod and before initialization we created the service account and the cluster role binding so when it comes to cleaning up um, we need to clean all these resources okay so helm what else I've got helm upgrade rollback delete reset status fetch install okay let's do let's try how to uninstall helm and tiller from your cluster environment so the command is helm reset if I do helm help reset um, helm reset kubernetes cluster deletes the local configuration and so on minus minus force so when you've got any application installed using tiller um, it won't uh, delete the uh, the tiller component unless you specify the force option if tiller is not in the ready state releases are not deleted you need to use the minus minus force command and there is another option which I normally use remove helm home so helm home is your dot helm directory when you do helm reset it's not going to delete that uh, dot helm directory so you need to pause minus minus force I don't need that now because um, I haven't used helm to install any application but I need remove helm home so if I do that what you will notice is it won't completely remove uh, helm it will still um, if I run the same command again so you can see maybe I should run it in watch no okay don't worry okay so deployment replica set pod service account cluster role binding let's see what I would expect is if you do helm reset as per the documentation it should delete the uh, the tiller uh, component completely from your cluster but that won't be the case it will leave some orphaned par and things so on let's see what it does helm reset so it says deleting the helm home directory that's okay tiller the server side component has been uninstalled from your kubernetes cluster is that true so it says it's been removed uninstalled and if I run this command again what it did was it only removed the deployment but still the replica said pod are still there so the service account cluster role binding we created it so we had to manually delete it but I would expect the replica set and pod to be deleted as well because these were created as part of the deployment but it doesn't delete the it doesn't delete these two resources um, I've searched and there's an existing issue um, raised against this um, feature um, so we have to clean that manually kubectl minus n cube system get pods as you can see tiller pod is still running and it's tied to the replica set which is also still there so you need to delete it kubectl minus n cube system delete replica set or rs for short tiller deploy okay so that's deleted and if I do this command again and the pod is in the termination state okay pod is gone so the only two 
resources left to clean up are the service account and the cluster role binding. Cubes ATL minus N cube system delete cluster role binding tiller cube CTL minus N cube system delete service account tiller okay so now we have completely cleaned up our environment ls dot home sorry ls dot helm you don't find it CD to downloads minus RF helm and Linux okay cool so we were um, we are now in the point where we started cool that's how you completely uninstall clean your um, helm and tiller one thing I forgot to do sudo rm minus rf user local bin helm okay now it's completely cleaned up right um, I think that's all I've got to show in this uh, video. So I hope you found this one useful. Um, and in my next video, I'm going to try and deploy a sample application. And most probably it will be Jenkins um, using Helm. How you can use Helm to um, install Jenkins. How you can upgrade your installation. How you can roll back to your previous deployment. And how to delete an application and so on so we can we can play with helm in my uh, next video and one other video i wanted to share is about how to create your own charts and your own repository so that you can share your um, application to to the rest of the world or within the other teams in your organization cool um thank you so much for uh, watching this video and I hope you liked it. If you liked this video, please share it with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe and you'll have, uh, I've got more videos uh, related to Kubernetes planned in the future weeks. Cool, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.